use it as a shaker. I could make a boom sound. If I hit the rim, I can make a tap sound. Make the scraping sound. Put it upside down, I've got a ting sound. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a tin can drum kit. I'm going to use a can of coconut milk. It can be anything as long as it doesn't have a ring pull on the top and it has, when you run your thing, thumb down its side of it, you can feel some ridges. I'm going to open it using a standard can opener. Now I need to check that the inside of the can rim is free from any sharp edges and check very carefully with your finger because if you use a sharp edge you don't want to cut yourself and if there's anything sharp in there just go over it again with the um, can opener the bit that's got a little nub left on it until it's completely smooth it's really important there's no sharp edges here's the can after it's been washed and cleaned and dried and I've got a bit of cardboard I'm gonna put the can on the cardboard and draw a circle around it and now I'm going to add four flaps about two centimeters long at 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock and nine o'clock like that and I'm going to cut that out so after you cut it out it should look like this and I'm just going to fold these flaps up so I can use them to stick this into side, inside the can which means that if the balloon bursts the rice or lentils or peas or buckwheat or whatever won't fall out. So I'm going to add little strips of tape on the inside of each of these horizontally and then we're going to place it inside the can. So I'm just going to add the last bit of tape to the inside of this flap like that. Now I'm pushing, putting my buckwheat into the can, just going to make the shaker sound. And once that's in, I'm going to place my cardboard. And just push it gently down, so it goes down. I want it to be level. And then push the tape onto the sides, like that, a little bit lower. So now, if you push that, it won't move. And if you tip it upside down, the bucket doesn't fall out. So if the balloon splits, then you don't get anything falling out. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to take a balloon and I'm going to cut it just at the start of the neck, like by here. And it's cut, and now I'm going to place the, throw that away and put the top of the balloon on the top of the can. So the way I find this easiest to do is to stretch it out like this. And then put your first fingers and ring fingers, leaving the middle fingers to get the can and then you and it goes over the top like that and you can pull it down to make it tighter and we'll try it and now I'm going to put a bit of tape around the bottom of the Balloon so it doesn't fall off. And that's what it looks like. There's a finished percussion drum kit. Last thing to do is to write your child's name on the top. So now we've got all five sounds. We've got a boom sound. If I hit the rim of the tin, I've got a tap sound. I've got a scrape sound. If I turn the tin over, I've got a ting sound. 
Oh, we've got a sugar. Thanks very much.